gorgeous people. How are you doing today? Hopefully okay. Um, this is Maddie and today we are going to be doing a super simple yoga flow for days that you feel overwhelmed. We're going to work into the nervous system, do a little bit of brain flossing, and also do just sort of the classic physical asanas that align with your emotional areas. If you have a couple blocks, uh, you might need them, you might not. And just remember that you can take child's pose at any time. Before we start the video, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, and follow me on social media at Maddie Likes to Move. And maybe send this practice to a friend. All right, we'll see you on your mat. Find your way into Sukhasana, comfortable seated position, and bring your thumbs to your forehead. Take a moment to set an intention or make a dedication for your practice. This can be as simple as a word. Just finding your way here, if at any point you find yourself becoming distracted, or you need to remind yourself, of today's motivation. And beginning to connect with your breath. Allow it to be slow and sweet. Grounding yourself into the present moment. You are precisely where you're meant to be. Know where to go. Nothing to do but to simply be here in your breath. Sliding your body forward into child's pose. Bring your feet together and your knees nice and wide. Let your forehead ground down onto the mat. And take any props that you need between your knees and your legs or your forehead and the ground. Remembering you can return to this position at any time. The Sanskrit word for child's pose is balasana. Balasana translates to wisdom. The wisdom to do what your body needs today. Realizing that every day is different. And every body is different. And as you breathe in, gently slide your hands in, keep your back rounded, head drops, cat pose. And as you exhale, drop your belly, extend your heart, lift your chin, cow pose. Exhale, tuck your chin, lift your spine, press into your hands, cat pose. Inhale, drop your belly, extend your heart, lift your chin, cow pose. Exhale, rounding, pressing into the palms, let the head relax. And this time, breathe in, drop your belly, extend your heart, and then bend your elbows, collarbone and chin, move forward and lower onto the mat. Slide your legs back, engage your belly. Warming up our shoulders and our lower back, extend the arms in front of you, palms facing up, and then bend the elbows back and up towards the ceiling, shoulder blades together. Extend your arms long in front of you, palms up, and then pull your shoulder blades together. One more time, reaching forward and then pulling the elbows back. Palms come beside the ribs, press into your hands, lift your heart, Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. And as you exhale, bend your knees, tuck the toes, lift the hips down, we're facing dog. Deep breath in, full breath out. As you inhale, lift your right leg high in the 
the sky. And as you exhale, bend your right heel towards your bum, stack your hips and let the left heel rest down towards the mat. Feeling that stretch through the back of the left leg. Inhaling here. And as you exhale, gently bring your right knee in towards your heart. Place the foot between the hand and lower the left knee down. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, bring your arms forward, moving into some brain work. Gaze at your right thumb as you open your right arm to the side and out behind you. And then bringing your arm back to first extension, keep gazing at the hand. Circle the arm out to the right and behind you, twisting the rib cage, the neck. And then bringing the palm back to center easing over the right thumb one more time just allowing yourself to become fully present in your movement and coming back to center reach your arms up sink low into the hips maybe a gentle back bend if you're ready and then bringing your palms down to either side of your foot Tuck your back toes under step your right leg high in the sky stack the hip once again moving into a variation on side plank bring your right foot underneath your body and across to the left turn your feet to the left and extend your left arm long outside your head giving yourself that beautiful side body stretch and activation lift your right leg up to the ceiling one more time and then bringing your right knee to your right wrist, setting up for pigeon pose. Climbing up onto the finger pads, create a little bit of gentle compression in the lower back as you extend your collarbone up and lift your chin. If you have any funny business in your lower back, keep your left foot tucked. Make sure your knee is facing down, ankle facing up. If you want to, moving down onto your forearms, you can stay here this might be enough if you'd like supporting your forehead with a block or if you feel ready lowering all the way down onto your belly now i personally like to keep the tuck in my foot in this position but if you'd like to point your left toes back it's there for you breathing in to the deep sensation of this pose When you're ready, climb up onto the palms, tuck the left toes under, and lift the right leg up. Make some little circles, take anything you need, and then step your right foot between your hands. Extend your right leg long, grab blocks if you need, setting up for pyramid pose. I like to keep my back heel lifted, you decide what feels best for you. Melt down over your right leg and just find your breath. You can let your left hip drop a little bit down if that feels good. If you need a deeper stretch, walk your hands a little forward. Let yourself relax and breathe here. And then placing your blocks to the side, lower your left knee down and step your right to match. Sit back on your heels and rest into child's pose for a moment. Deep breath in. Full breath out. As you inhale, find your way up to hands and knees, drop the belly, extend the heart, and exhale, lower chest and chin down. 
Taking Chalavasana, Locust Pose, interlace your fingers behind your back, pull your belly in, peel your heart up, shoulder blades pull together, press down into your hip bones, and just feeling that gentle back bend, lower your forehead down for a moment, switch the clasp of your fingers, and then lifting your heart back up, feeling that nice opening through the heart and lower on down bring your palms beside your ribs wrists underneath elbows and then pressing into your hands lift your heart up bhujangasana cobra pose and as you exhale bend the knees tuck the toes lift the hips downward facing dog deep breath in Full breath out. Bend your knees, shift your body forward, and then lower your knees and make a wave with your spine, lifting your hips. Tuck your chin, shift your body forward to a plank pose, and then bend your knees, stick your butt up in the air, and let your spine wave back into downward facing dog. One more time, shift your body forward to plank, and then bend your knees, lift your hips, let your chest drop through, head relaxes. Inhale, lift your left leg high in the sky, and then bend your left knee. Bring it in towards your left tricep and place the foot softly between the hands lower the right knee down and then as you breathe in reach your arms up towards the ceiling bring your arms out in front of you and moving into our brain work gaze at the left thumb as you open the left arm to the left side and out behind you and then circling your palm back to front position Inhale, open the arm to the side, gaze towards the left thumb. And exhale, close the palms so that they're side by side. One more time like this. And exhale, bringing the palms side by side. As you breathe in, drop the hips, lift the arms, reach back. And exhale, place the hands to either side of the foot. Tuck the back toe under, lift the left leg high in the sky and stack the left hip over the right. Feel that length through the back of the right leg. And then extending the leg up, gently bring it in towards your heart. And then moving the left foot towards the right, pivot onto the sides of the feet, moving into side plank. Extend the right arm above your head, feeling that nice stretch through the whole right side of your body. Bring your right hand down onto the mat. Step your left foot up towards the ceiling once again. Stack the hip. And then gently bringing the left knee to the outside of the left wrist. Slide the right leg back into pigeon. Climb up onto the fingertips. Extend your heart up. And then when you're ready, finding your way down onto your forearms. Your belly. If it feels good, placing a block underneath your forehead, remembering that if there's any funny business in your lower back, you can always tuck your back toe under, or place a pillow or a block underneath the hips if they don't quite make it to the ground. Allow your breath to be soft and smooth as you melt into this very juicy hip opener. Relax your jaw. 
the muscles around your eyes and then climbing up on to the palms tuck your back toe under lift your left leg high in the sky and then stepping your left foot through between the hands straight in the front leg grab blocks and place them to either side of the front foot and extend your spine long scissoring your hips so that they're side by side melt down over your leg and think chest towards thigh if you want a little bit more sweetness extend your arms forward and just allowing yourself to melt in to this beautiful hamstring stretch breathe smooth slow rhythmic breaths tuck your back toe under bend into your knee and then step your right foot beside your left setting up for a forward fold if you have them if you have blocks bring them out in front of you and stack them one on top of the other extend your arms long drop your head down and bring the weight into your heels as you inhale, gently roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, head comes up last. And drop the hips, lift the arms, Utkatasana, chair pose. Keep lowering down onto your seat and find your way onto your back for Shavasana. Taking a minute of nerve flossing, start to point and flex your feet so your body shakes up and down. This is a wonderful way to reset your nervous system, to stimulate the lymph, and to find any maybe unknown areas of tensing or holding if you're paying attention to what sensations come up in your body while you do this exercise shaking a little bit faster for five four three two 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 one and release shavasana deep breath in through the nose out through the mouth in through the nose out through the mouth And exhale, allowing yourself this space to rest, let your breath be slow and smooth. if your mind begins to wander just take the visualization of a clear of glass vase with any amount of dirt in it each time you breathe in visualize yourself breathing in golden dust and each time you exhale visualize the dirt leaving the vase staying with this visualization allowing it to keep 
keep you centered as your body regenerates after this slow flowing practice. Just waking up your body, reach your arms up above your head, point your toes away, and then rocking up and down the length of your spine until you find your way up to seated. Bring your palms to heart center and bowing your head. Namaste. How are you feeling? Let me know in the comments below. I always love to hear your feedback. Um, and thank you so much for practicing with me. Before you leave this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, and follow me on social media at Maddie Likes to Move. And if you're interested in live workshops, join my mailing list in the link below. Um, I send out lots of cool writing and free content every month, but just just once a month, not that often, you know? And yeah, just have a really beautiful day. <laughs> okay, bye guys.